Now the actors have made a strong connection with their breathing muscles and the resonance of their voice, we can start to open the voice up. OK, so before we open the voice up, shall we open up the ribs a little bit more? Take a wider stance, bend your knees, and do a big stretch to the side, stretching the ribs that side. Then come back a little bit so you're not overextended. Put the hand on the head to relax the upper shoulder and swing your ribs out into your hand with your breath. Can you feel that movement? Mm. Yeah. If you drop the bottom arm, you get a bigger stretch. Yeah. And then if you drop your shoulder and elbow to round your back, you can send the breath into the back of that side of your rib cage. A couple of breaths there. And then when you've done, come up and we'll do it all the other side. Great. So big stretch. It doesn't matter if you can't stretch, bend over very far, as long as you're stretching that side of your ribs. And swing the ribs with your breath. Drop the bottom arm if you like. Because lifting the, the arm up on your head there stretches your ribs anyway, doesn't it? And then drop your shoulder and elbow to round the back and get the breath into that side. That's great. And then come up when you're ready. And when you do come up, bring your feet back in under your hips so you're not spread too wide. And again, just give yourself that minute to connect to those low ribs. Because it's easy when you're standing up, especially in front of an audience, to start breathing high again, isn't it? So feel those ribs swing with a nice soft tummy. OK, we've got to stretch the throat as well, haven't we? So yawning is the best way. Have a good yawn. You can stretch your body too, if you like. <sighs> Great. <sighs> OK, and then back to centre. And we're going to open the voice up, first of all, with some ha slides. And because we're in the theatre, you can start to think of them going out and landing in a seat. So when you're ready, choose your breath, and off we go. <laughs> and we do at least three of those, keeping the voice up and out. keep the throat open, don't you? I don't mean stretch it, but it it's so easily closes, don't oh, you yes. find? Especially towards the end as the breath begins to run out. Absolutely, bit, yeah. yeah. Yes. And sometimes I hear people, as they slide down into the bit of the voice they use most of all, they start to push again to get a bit louder. So it's important to keep that throat release all the way down. Have one more. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, very, very good. OK, so we've opened the voice up, feeling of the sense of the voice across the space. The next thing we have to do is articulation. We have to have very clear speech in the theatre, and it takes a lot of work uh, with the face muscles and the muscles of the tongue.